Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love to do all kinds of DIYs on a budget. I love to make all kinds of crafts with Dollar Tree items. I also love to make wreaths and I also love to do thrift flips. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you. Also, leave me a comment. And also, um, I love for you to give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel, and I love to hear what you guys think. So today is all about Monarch's Market is our host. It's all about lemons. Yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So make sure you check out that playlist, and I'll get into more of that in a minute. So first, DIY number one. I am going to use one of my chocotour stencils that you see there that I just got, and also this chocotour um, board that I got. It's a chalkboard with a frame, which is super pretty, and it came with my first designer set that I got. I'm gonna leave you a link down below. If you are interested in shopping and getting any chocotour goodies, um, I will have my store link in below in my link tree, and you could check it out. So first what I'm doing is I'm fuzzing this stencil. That is to get it so that it's not so sticky so that when you put all your paste down, it's not going to lift up your paint. And then what you're going to do is lay it down on your surface. And then this is like a sample like type of packet that you get. And this color is metal, I believe, and it's green. And at first I did these leaves and then I decided when I pulled it up, I really didn't like the leaves. And the great thing about Chocotort is that you can customize these your own way that you want, okay? So if you don't like the leaves, you don't have to do the leaves. And if you do the leaves and then you don't like it after it's done, you could just wipe it off. Sorry about that, that's my dog. You could just wipe it off with a wipey um, or a wet paper towel, that portion, and it'll come right up. So that is the great thing about Chocotort. And when you're doing it on a chalkboard, you can easily take it off and do a different one. So this board right here, I can use over and over again if I want to and keep changing it for each season. So if you want to become a designer, um, they do have different designer kits and it's all in my Chocotour link. So you could check that out as well. Um, it's super fun because you get extras when you're a designer and you also get a stencil every month for being part of it. Um, so it's really cool. But yeah, check it out. Um, that will be in my link tree down below. And then what I did is I went around with the lemon. The lemon is called, it's actually called Bumblebee. And then the white is just white. So, and they also give you this little squeegees to help um, pull it through the stencil. And that was it when it was all done, you guys. I love the way this turned out. And it looks so pretty in my little dining set area, dining room area. And I put this little, um, this is just like a messy bow. You just crisscross it, tie it in the middle, and there you go. And I just used a bunch of different ribbons that I had that went with it. And yeah, and I'm going to show you my whole um, dining area where everything is put that I made my whole lemon decors. Everything's in there, and I'll show you at the end. But first, let's talk about Monarch's Market. It's Brenda. She is an awesome, awesome woman. I love her. And she's a great designer. Check out the playlist. Check out her channel. Everything will be linked down below. Check out these ladies. They are awesome. You'll get plenty of lemon goodie uh, things to do and crafts to see here. So next, I took one of these chalkboard um, mason jars from the Dollar Tree and some more chocotour stencils. And then I don't know if you guys seen these med metal ribbons, I guess you could call them. I don't know, but they're decorative um, metal. And I just took a piece off because I wanted to make the top part look like metal. I used really strong scissors that I had to cut that. And then I just kind of wrapped it around the top portion of my mason jar. And then I'm going to use two stencils that say, hello sunshine. And then the other one has a lemon slice on it. And that's what we're going to use to make this. This one was super easy to do. Um, like I said, with the Chocotour stuff, you, there's so many possibilities. So many things you can make with this stuff, you guys. And it's so easy. That's what I love about it. And it looks so great in your home. 
So the first thing I did is I used some white chalk paint by Waverly to cover the top part because I wanted that metal to stick out a little bit more. And with the black background of the chalkboard, it wasn't going to show up that great. So that's what I did. And then of course I fuzzed my little stencils first with my fuzzing cloth. And you do get that when um, you order a kit or you can just order the fuzz cloth and whatever you like. And then I took that um, Hello Sunshine and I did that in white with the white chalk paint. Look how nice of that is. I mean, guys, this is so easy. And then I took my next stencil and fuzzed that. This is the little lemon slice. And I'm gonna do that one in the yellow, of course. And then we're going to put that piece of metal that I have, that decorative metal on there from the Dollar Tree. And I'm hoping that they're gonna put those metals um, back out again. I don't know, I haven't seen them recently. And then we're gonna do this right over the top of that white. Now see how you can kind of see it better now? So what I did is I wanted this to stay down well, so I used my hot glue gun and I pushed it down in the back, the metal, and then I just kind of reinforced it with some hot glue and then just a piece of felt. And that's going to keep it down and also keep it from having sharp edges on the back. So that's what I did there. And this worked out perfectly. So it helped keep it down and also kept the sharp edges covered. And then I decided that I wanted to highlight those nice grooves on the top of that piece of metal. So I just dry brushed it with my white chalk paint and this turned out so good. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to make more because I did buy more of these chalkboards. I mean, you see these chalkboards at Dollar Tree? Grab them, guys, because they are a steal. I'm telling you. And there it is in my little dinette area, which you'll see at the end. Now DIY number three. I took one of these rounds from the Dollar Tree, and then I found this at my Walmart. And I was like, oh. And it's a garden flag. So what I did is I took the stitching out and you actually have two sides of this. So you could do two crafts if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take all the stitching out and then I'm gonna cut the round part of the lemon that says squeeze the day. And we're gonna cut that out. And this fits perfectly on my little round from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna make a little sign. And I thought that this was a perfect idea. I think the flag was either $3 or $5. And then all I did was, you know, put it flat and I just traced around, cause this is kind of, fa this is fabric. So it's not paper. And I just cut it out. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge it onto my round. This was super simple as well. So easy to do, and this turned out super cute. I got so excited when I saw this at my at my Walmart because I don't get very much at our Walmart. And then I decided to go around the edges because the um, when I cut it out, the lemon was a little, just a tiny bit shorter, shorter than the round, so the wood round. So I wanted to make sure that I had that in white so it didn't look funny. So I just um, chalk painted that with my chalk paints. And then now we're gonna go in after it dried and I'm gonna start gluing it down. Now I did a little at a time because this is fabric and I wanted to make sure I pulled it and I didn't have a lot of bubbles. Now I will tell you because of the way this um, flag was made and because of the stitching, it did bubble a little bit. I couldn't get it as flat as I really wanted, but that's okay because I felt like it just gave it more character and I think it looks great. I mean, I'm happy with it. It just, you know, it didn't go as smooth as maybe some people like. So I'm just letting you guys know now, if you find these, that it is, you gotta keep working with it. And I did, and I just did a little at a time. And then I finally got it to where I wanted it. And then I just kept going. So see, I just did a little at a time, use my little spongy tool from the Dollar Tree, and I just smoothed it out that, um, smoothed out the Mod Podge and then I just brought it down a little at a time and then just kind of, you know, smoothed it out as much as I possibly could. And then once I got done with all of that, I did another little thing on here too, just to give it a little more decorative. But I mean, it looks good just like that as a sign just to put in your, 
you know, dining cabinet, because that's what I'm going to show you at the end. It's basically a farmhouse dining cabinet that I have in my um, dining area. And I love changing it up for the season. So, and then I went around the edges with some of that yellow um, bumblebee. Oh no, this one was Goldenrod by Folk Art Paint that I used. And I just did a dry brush and I did the edges so it kind of blended in with the sign. And look how good that came. I love it. And then I did another fussy bow. Um, not fussy. What am I saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just this bow crisscross. You just crisscross the ribbon and then you tie it up in the middle. But this time I, did, I tied it in the middle and then I decided to go around it with this um, buffalo check ribbon that I had from the Dollar Tree. And I let that be the center of my bow. I just glued it down. Really easy. These ribbons are super easy to do. And I really like them on these type of projects. And then I just put it up on the top and and moved them around a little bit, made it look all pretty, and that's it, you guys. So here it is in my little dining cabinet. And now on to DIY number four. You guys are gonna find out these are really cheap and easy to do all of these. So this one's really simple. I took some clear glue. This bottle that I got for a dollar from uh, Dollar General, and I filled it with clear glue. And this clear glue was only $2 at Walmart. And then I took that same yellow colored folk art paint goldenrod and because it's really yellow. And I just used my little um, stir stick thing that I had that was really long. And I just stirred it around. And it looks like lemonade in the bottle. That's it. Super easy, you guys. See that? <laughs> Simple. And now on to DIY number five. And this one, I took some more of my stencils from Chocotour, and we're going to make, this was my final one, I love this. They give you a whole kit with lemons and the twine and the ribbon and the everything, okay? And it's a whole kit and you get it and you can make a garland with your lemons. And this was so much fun to make, I loved getting this because I knew I was going to do it because my house is lemons. <laughs> so, and then I had this fabric that I bought last year at Michael's. So I'm going to use that to just to, to give it a little more touch of something. So first thing they do is this kit comes with the leaves for your stencil. So you can color the leaves in with your green chalk paint, any color. There's all kinds of different green color chalk paints they have and chalk paste, sorry. And I just went in with my tools and I, my little squeegee that I have here, and I did the um, leaves first on all my lemons. And one had a little pattern on it and one did not. And then the lemons had two different patterns too that came with the stencils. So you'll see those in a minute. And I did like, I just split it up. I think I got six melons, so I did three and three, or you may get seven melons, I'm not sure. But this made a very long garland, so it was like perfect for my um, cabinet because it went around just perfectly. And then what I did is I just kept doing this with the green and I went in and did all the leaves. And then once I got those, see how it has the little polka dot pattern? And then this one is just a plain leaf pattern. So there's no polka dots or anything, it just looks like a leaf. And these are all really, super pretty and so easy to use and then you just take it off voila there it is and now you're going to take your lemons that they give you and there's two different patterns which you will see one has flowers on it and I just used my yellow bumblebee chalk paste for that and I just stenciled it on and put the paste through and then when you lift it up wait till you see this I love this part when you lift it up and it's like ta-da there it is look at how cute that is and then there's the other pattern which I'm going to show you next and this one kind of has like crisscross going through it diagonals and I did um, a couple of these so I kind of just split it up because on the garland I'm going to do like every other basically and just make it look really cute you know, and this, I'm telling you, this was my favorite one. 
and I love the way this turned out. It was hard to show on video though the whole thing so that's why I videoed it my whole cabinet so you guys could see it hanging up. And then the little round ones were the whole lemon so like the inside of the lemon so I used my um, chalk paint to do those and they give you the little round stencil for those as well. And these were a little bit harder to lift up because I had to hold the piece down. There you go. And I just kept doing those ones. And I did some green and made lines out of them too. And then what you do is you're just going to take the long twine, uh, jute twine that they give you, and you're just going to loop it through the two holes that are in the center at the top. And you're just going to keep pulling them through to the end. And you just keep stringing them along the way that you want to make your garland. Now you could do your garland any way you want. Um, what I did is I put these through first and then those strips of fabric that you saw in the beginning that I showed you that I have that are all lemon pattern, I decided to tie those in a knot and put them in between each of my um, lemons. And I thought I'd just make a cute design with it, you know, putting them in between. And just to make it a little bit nicer and add a little something extra. So that's what I did. I happen to have those on hand and I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity to use up my stuff and to make it a little bit cuter. So that's what I did and I absolutely love the way this turned out. So, so cute. And like I said, I did every other one. So I did like the lemon, the small lemon, then I did the big whole lemon and then I did the line and I just kept going all the way down and I just alternated the patterns of the lemons as well. And I just kept doing this. And I don't show you the whole thing because this took me quite a bit. And then once I got these all stringed on, that's when I came in with the um, the strips of ribbon, which I will show you the strips of, sorry, fabric, not ribbon. And you will see what I did there. And then the ribbon that comes with this, I made, which you will see little tassels at the end of each of my um, garland. So I cut strips, I just measured out how much I thought I needed of each strip to make a knot and just have it like hanging from the string. So I got three pieces out of each strip. Now I do believe Michaels is selling this again. So you might wanna check it out with their spring decor. And what I did is I put a strip of glue and I did them in half. And I just glued them in half together and then I did a little piece of glue, a little bit of glue on each end as well. And then I just took it and tied it on in between all of my lemons. And that's what I did all the way across. And I just kept changing the pattern, but you could do anything you want. And now this is the ribbon that they give you with the kit, okay, with Chalk Couture. So I took each ribbon and they give you two strips of each. So it's for each side of your garland. So what I did is I made two tassels with them. So I split them up first and got them the way I wanted them. And then I took the big piece, put that down first. And these ribbons, I wanted them to stay in place. So I just put a little dab of glue in the center of my ribbons to keep them together so I didn't have to like sit there and fight with them to stay together and to try and get it the way I wanted it. So I just a little dab of glue, hot glue, and it helps to keep it all together. And then I did the same thing with the little um, tassels and then what I did is I just I'm going to take it and I'm going to bunch it together about an inch from the top after I fold it in half and then I tie a little knot in the top with my twine and this is my jute twine this was extra that I had and I just tied it in a knot and then I tied it to the end of my garland and all I did was I wrapped mine and glued it to the pieces that were left on the end. I just left a little piece on the end and I just glued it, wrapped it around really tight and that's what kept it on there. And there's the one side. And I did the same thing on the opposite side, on the other end. Same thing, just used a dab of glue, did each strip to make sure they stayed the way I wanted them to stay because they were all folded and stuff, so it was just easier for them to stay like this. And then I didn't have to fight with them. And then I just glued them all down, and I did the same thing. I repeated the same process on this side. 
So I'm just gonna fold it in half, take a piece of twine and wrap it about an inch down around, tie it in a knot, double knot, and then tie it onto the end of your garland. And there's your little tassel. And it's so cute, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see the big reveal. It's coming up, I promise. And I glued that side too. And then I just kind of straightened out my ribbons and see, I'm trying to show you like that, but I was like, this is not gonna work. So there it is. There is my whole cabinet, you guys. So I hope you guys like it. Remember to check everybody out, please, and show them love, subscribe to their channels, and I'll see you again soon. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.